All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the things that we were talking about. We'll give some instances and show some people what we're talking about. So um, in the run game, he, he's getting pretty good, too. This one, he kind of sets the edge. Take us through this. Well, the Browns have gone to this uh, run game a lot here where usually they kick out the end uh, in their counter gap scheme. But what the Browns have been doing is they've been blocking that end or pinning that end inside uh, with, either, with either Bryant or uh, Donovan People Jones. So Bryant's going to pin this end, this big end, this big defensive end inside, which allows uh, Betonio to come all the way around. And the guards uh, obviously are very, very good, but allows the guard to get all the way out and around, uh, which creates a huge hole for uh, Chubb in a big run. And again, any time a, a team is running the ball as effectively as the Browns are, um, your tight ends, your wide receiver, uh, all of them are blocking. It's not only the five offensive linemen. When you're running the ball as effectively as the Browns are, everybody is blocking. Yeah, and what they do is they, they give you such – they create different edges, and they're able to get in different formations and block different people. So they can block on the line of scrimmage. Uh, they can be inline tight ends and block defensive ends and block down on tackles. Uh, they can also be in the slot and get on outside linebackers and safeties. So the Browns can kind of formation uh, and get into run sets that are beneficial to them because their tight ends are so versatile. Um, we mentioned um, he will line up in the backfield being Harrison Bryant as well. And, and that gives Kevin Spansky and the Browns some roster flexibility um, because when he does want to use the fullback, um, they've used Harrison Bryant as the fullback. Yeah, you know, in when they didn't when they didn't keep the fullback, they you know they didn't have a true fullback on the roster. I figured that's what he was going to, uh, that's one of his roles. He would uh, kind of uh, take over as well because he did it a lot last year where he motions. Uh, they don't necessarily very often line him up in the fullback at the start of the formation, but they do a lot of it when they bring him back there. So they'll line up in a two tight end set or a, a wing set with him and Njoku, or even him and Njoku and maybe Dunn as the uh, as the third tight end. And then they can motion him back. And again, they're just running a simple power play here. Uh, he does a great, a great job of getting up on the backer, uh, being very physical, and, and truly just being a fullback on this play. So, uh, again, this is a, a Browns staple. They love to run it. They love to pull those guards and, and get out in front. And they do so many different variations of who they're kicking out, who they're blocking, who they're pinning, where the guards are going. Uh, it's kind of really fun to watch and, and see how they do it week to week. Yeah, and in that play in particular, he's turning a linebacker and, and creating a hole. Um, that, that isn't a safety, that's a linebacker he's turning. So if you're getting that kind of play from, from your tight end, um, again, that's the reason you have a successful running attack. Well, yeah, and so the, the plays we've watched, he's, he's pinned down a, a big, a big uh, defensive end. Uh, he's gotten up on the number two line, uh, number one or number two linebacker. Uh, and he's very physical, and that wasn't kind of his M.O. coming into the NFL, and he's kind of uh, embraced that role uh, along with Njoku. They like catching the ball, but both of those guys really like to block, and his flexibility and his ability to block basically all 11 guys, he'll, he'll give it a shot. Um, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, all right, so now we've seen the run attack. Well, let's take a look at um, him in the passing game, and he came out as a, as a highly thought of tight end, and, and this one, he kind of – Fakes like he's going to block, he chips somebody and then releases out. Well, this is what the Browns can do too with these tight ends in the backs is that they're going to chip this defensive end and they're going to have to help the right tackle Hudson who's in there uh, in this game. So they chip, help the, they help the right tackle here and then he gets in the flat and he becomes very quarterback friendly because he kind of knows where to go. Uh, he's a big guy, he's got a big wingspan, uh, he's tall, he's got long arms, so he provides a, uh, a really good target for Brissett right now in terms of that, that uh, kind of that security blanket, uh, him and Njoku with their size and length and catch radius to uh, be very, very, very cute and friendly for him. And Bryant sold the fact that he was blocking. If you watch the linebacker there, he drops and that's what creates, there's a lot of space there. If, if he's able to slip that next tackle a little cleanly, that's even a, a little more cleanly. It's a bigger gain too. Well, I've always been, you know, as I, like I said, as I watched the film, I'm impressed because he does. He, he runs with the ball very well. So he goes from blocking a DN to blocking a linebacker to chipping a DN to getting in the flat. Uh, and then he runs very well with the ball after he catches it. He had a couple big catches last week uh, early in that game. Um, so, yeah, he's he does a lot of things, and he does a lot of things very well. All right, uh, <clears throat> let's take one more look at a, um, at a pass catching drill. So this is kind of like being quarterback friend, what coaches refer to as quarterback friendly. Take us through what you see here. 
Well, they get a big, they get a pass rush on Brissett, and as Brissett starts to get into his scramble, uh, you got to kind of find an opening. We always kind of said that the guys who are running deep as they come forward, guys who are you know at the line of scrimmage, you kind of get deep, and you're, you're basically looking for a hole here. And the defense here, the Jets are in, in a zone coverage, so he kind of just sits between you know in front of the safeties. The linebackers come up to uh, attack Brissett, and he just kind of finds a hole right behind him. And uh, once again, he's big, he's long, and he's very easy to find for Brissett. A little bit and of then a again, look at the run after catch. He runs very well after he catches. Him. A little bit of awareness as to where the defenders were coming from at the end of that run, too. Um, you, you see him putting the off arm over the ball when he senses protections coming right or uh, defenders coming right there to try to rip it out. Just an awareness as he's running with the football as well. Well, you know, he's done so much blocking. When he came out of college, he was the Mackey Award winner. He is the number one tight end in the country. So he has the ability uh, to catch the ball. That's kind of what he's known for when he came to the Browns. And he's just improved. Uh, like day after day, game after game, you see his blocking improve. Uh, but his foundation, what he's really good at, is catching the ball and running with it. Yeah, and, and again, I, I got to believe that part of that blocking um, is thanks to Bill Callahan, offensive line coach. He's gonna he's gonna give you a little bit of technique work that um, that will smooth over any rough edges as far as blocking goes. Well, during camp, uh, once again, they're, they're machines. And that, I tell everybody, my favorite part of camp was that first 20 minutes and that first 20 minutes with the linemen. And usually the linemen, uh, they'd be on their own for a couple of minutes, and then they were working with somebody else. And they were constantly with those tight ends, uh, blocking down, running their gap scheme, running the outside zone, the inside zone, and constantly working those double teams. And, yeah, he's getting coached up just like an offense. When he's with the offensive linemen, those tight ends are offensive linemen. So they have offensive linemen rules. And uh, you can see that he's gotten better and better at it. Yeah, and, and he still maintained that ability that he had coming out as the uh, best tight end in college football as well. You can see those flashes um, when given the opportunity in the pass game as well. Yeah, and, you know, and, and the more the Browns run the ball and the more they get this offense clicking, I think he's going to become more and more important because teams are going to start shading uh, Amari Cooper. Teams are going to start bracketing. Uh, Nidoku, so he's going to have some openings. He's going to have some matchups that are going to be uh, really beneficial for him. I think he's a tough matchup for a linebacker uh, with his uh, ability to run, and I think he's a tough matchup for a safety with his size. 